Federal law requires that the designated priority seating area at the front of the bus be made available for seniors and el área de asientos de prioridad designada en la parte delantera del autobús esté a disposición de personas. that a lot of you on the spectrum uh, or those of you who are autistic find that quote offensive and I'm really really sorry about that but here's the deal I really feel that as a person who is a self-advocate and a leader in the autistic community and being that I'm getting into the rehearsal tours and working at a Center for Leadership and Disability at Georgia State and going off in that direction and speaking at conferences. I'm just not going to avoid Autism Speaks and I'm not going to run into a family or an organization that has some sort of collaboration with that. And my thing is, I mean, sure, I could turn around Walk a, picket, walk a picket line, carry a sign, and shout, don't believe the lies, don't believe the lies, which I, I want to do with the, uh, the vaccination theories that keep going back and forth right now. But the reason why I'd like to look at Autism Speaks is because uh, it looks like they're really trying right now to uh, create exception, acceptance and inclusion. And one of the things that I've seen them do is that they have created a mosaic for uh, individuals on the spectrum, family members, parents, that we can share our stories. And so someone else uh, who is on the spectrum that, that referred me to my job, uh, his name is Aaron uh, Denberg Naderhofer. Uh, he has, uh, I think he, he does a lot of public speaking and he's encouraging me to continue as a self-advocate to put my or an autistic to put myself out there and uh, he is working with autism speaks as well and our attitude is we need to educate them we need to work with them as much as possible so here are some of the things i'm doing with them uh, number one i put myself in the mosaic which he suggested that i get involved with and i put three pictures of myself and i have a couple with links related to my vlogs so that people can learn more about me and then i found out that autism speaks is hosting a great big uh part their host autism speaks not a great they're hosting a great big uh, series of uh, guest blogs on uh a WordPress page so I submitted a couple of those being that I have written blogs and 
Aaron is suggesting that I get out there and continue to uh, yeah, let people know what I do by uh, blogging for their organizations or sharing my videos on some of their pages. And so I'm doing that with them. And then because I'm supporting, sorry, I dropped that umbrella, but, and then because I'm chosen to support Autism Speaks, I, um, uh, I got invited to an event next, uh, su next Sunday uh, with uh, it's a special uh, two hour event by invitation only with uh, Autism Speaks. They're doing a sensory friendly event for individuals and their families. So the director, I mean, I'm not sure I can give out her name, but she has a son with mild autism herself. And I've known her for quite a few years because uh, she's connected to the Center for Leadership and Disability where I'm employed. And so she sent me an email yesterday and I asked her if I could possibly uh, shoot some vlogs there. So she's gonna try to hook me up with the media people so that I can get a press pass and uh, maybe rent a camera from the Georgia State University Library area for staff people. And then I can uh, edit that content later. I also would like to uh, write another blog about that. But speaking of which, I just created a blog about why I am supporting Autism Speaks. And I do believe in the Autism Speaks walks and not to cure autism, to raise money for services and like services and to raise money so that families can get diagnosed and families can get uh, different types of therapy, not ABA necessarily, but maybe music therapy, sound therapy maybe put sensory friendly rooms and sensory friendly suites into places of employment. In my case, I think we should be walking at these tours so that uh, we can raise money to uh, make these autism airport rehearsal tours uh, like an ongoing daily thing at these airports uh, because it's very expensive. And being that Autism Speaks has a lot of money, they really could afford to uh, put their best foot forward and uh, make an effort for these programs. So, um, anyway, I'm out of time today. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, please be sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And uh, I will talk with you later. But a few things first, you can check me out on social media. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter. I just, uh, I got on Twitch recently, so I'm gonna to try to do some live chats on there sometime. And then I'm also on Instagram where I post photos related to my vlogs so that I can get the word out there and build up a nice set of people on social media that can view my stuff. And sometimes if my videos are short enough, I put those uh, onto YouTube as well. And Finally, be sure to check out my written materials on WordPress.com. You can find these under Hello World 240 at WordPress.com. That's Hello World 240 at WordPress.com. And finally, I know that some of you hate Temple Grandin, but I'm going to cross promote her again anyway. This is her TED Talk. You can find her right here in the upper right hand corner. Right there. The sensory room at uh, Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. This is the first of this kind, as uh, my airline pilot friend says, when we do these tours. But look at this, I'm sitting in here. I found these cool, totally rad glasses with cats on them. It totally fits them, a cat person. Eat your heart out, Applejack Mac. Thank you.